Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person. What are they thinking, feeling at this time? And what are their intentions towards you for the near future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching and not every Sagittarius reading on my channel will resonate for you. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. What messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love? In this reading, we're going to look at how you feel about each other, what's going on in this connection, what you need to know, and what's the potential outcome. So let's get into it. Wow, I haven't even asked my question. All right, Spirit. First, Sagittarius, what is going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies between Sagittarius and the person they are dealing with? Mutual energies, please. What is going on in their connection? Wow. We got free yourself and separation. Okay. I think that's pretty clear, but I'm trying to figure out, I guess we'll see the more we dig in here. Wow, bottom of the deck, pay attention to the red flags. What is going on Sagittarius? Fire signs, you guys are always dealing with stuff. Okay, so let's see, what is this about? Is this a separation between you and your person? Is it that one of you needs to separate? Let's get into this. Tell me more for Sagittarius, please. What is going on in this connection? For Sagittarius, please. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Coin, that one fell out like this, but we'll take it upright okay what else for Sagittarius what is going on in this connection okay hold on what is going on in this connection for Sagittarius so far this looks good, so what is happening? The star, what's this? Seven of Swords reverse, I had to, okay. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. I feel like there's something here that either needs healing or something that someone has hope in. Eight of Swords behind that. I am getting a few messages here, but I'm going to try to narrow it down by clarifying before I just start talking. So let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, please. Why is she here? Knight of Coin Reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups here? High Priestess Reverse. Some, this Queen of Cups realized that someone was not bringing an offer or an offer was taking way too long for some reason and this was something that have the moon at the bottom it's like this was some sort of secret or hidden from her it could be secret emotions secret love coming to light here a secret admirer even with the queen of cups someone could be looking at you as this queen of cups or you are a queen of cups towards another person you have feelings for another person here perhaps feelings that are hidden okay so let me get one more for this Queen of Cups. Let me get one more, please, Spirit. I can already tell this is not going to be an easy reading. <laughs> and for Sagittarius especially, things have been rough. Judgment reverse. And the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Taurus energy there. Contracts, commitment, judgment reverse. Ace of Swords. You know why I'm having such a hard time interpreting this for you guys? Because those two cards up there are screaming at me. Free yourself. Separation. 
something came out here that revealed someone's past mistakes or something came out here that revealed someone had some sort of bad judgment or ignored their judgment. This is about an opportunity, possibly about a commit commitment. And it's almost like, despite everything that's happened, this Queen of Cups is still in love. Despite whatever has come to the surface, despite the fact that an offer hasn't arrived, despite the fact that someone's judgment was clearly blocked and they've made some serious mistakes and perhaps haven't learned from their mistakes, regardless, this Queen of Cups is still in love. I think she still has hope for something. Or someone still has hope in giving this Queen of Cups something. Why is this page of coin here? For Sagittarius, please. Why is this page of coin here, Spirit? The lovers reverse. Six of Swords reverse. Gemini energy with the lovers reverse. Temperance reverse. Sagittarius energy. Something's not coming together. There's a huge disconnect in a partnership. Someone's possibly wanting to return. It's almost like something blew up in their face or something didn't go a certain way. And so they want to return with this very small offer. This is so strange, you guys. I have to say, Four of Wands at the bottom. So I have the Four of Wands. I have the Tire Font. Someone here could be married. It's almost like on the surface, everything looks good. Queen of Cups, Page of Coins, the Star. This is all very good energy. But under the surface, there's something here that's completely off. Sagittarius, here you are, showing up in your reading. This is all about something that's not coming together. Someone becoming impatient. Someone needing a lot more time. Something's not working. Possibly is causing a separation between you. But it's like someone still wants to bring even, like a small offer at least. And it's almost like this Queen of Cups is okay with it. Tell me if this is resonating in the comments. I know this message is for someone, but it is such a strange message. Tell me about the star. This is Aquarius energy. Why is this star here? Ace of Cups reverse. You see what I'm saying? Someone needs to heal a heartbreaking situation. Emperor, Aries energy. Someone wants to uh, bring back control, restabilize the situation, take charge of the situation. The Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. And the moon again at the bottom with Pisces energy. So this is again, something is not right. There's an illusion here. It's like someone has, has run away or has gone really quiet. Someone could be keeping their emotions feeling a uh, secret, I mean. This is strange energy. So I feel like this is about healing a situation that's not working out. It, it, this okay the, it, okay the connection that i'm talking about here that the, the connection that i see here sagittarius so that i can narrow it down for some of you because some of you are probably watching this confused as confused as i am and i don't blame you <laughs> i feel like this connection that i'm talking about or i'm i'm seeing here this is a connection where there has been some sort of heartbreak Someone has probably not expressed how they truly felt about you. And there is a disconnect or a separation that is still like, it's like someone's really working on making happen. It's like someone's working on separating, on freeing themselves, but it's, it's like they're delayed. It's taking forever. Maybe they don't even have the money. 
And this has been extremely heartbreaking. It's like this person, whoever this is that needs to separate or free themselves, they're trying to do it to heal what has happened between you and them. And this could be a separation from a current partner. It could be a separation from a certain job that's hostile work environment, a family situation where like there's too much family drama, family issues between like parents, siblings, brothers-in-laws, whatever. I'm not really seeing a separation like someone that has to be with another person other than you, if that makes sense. So let's get some more information. How do you feel about each other? I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is in my shop, a deck that you can print at home. I printed mine as staples, you can do that as well. Tell me about how Sagittarius and this person are thinking or feeling about each other. Tell me about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius thinking or feeling about this connection at this time? Paralyzing fear. Give me one more. Sudden realization. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, unhealthy attachments. So you've undergone some sort of realization about something unhealthy here. But it's like maybe you're too scared to let it go. Maybe you're the one that needs to free yourself. Ooh. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Start. Walking away. Cold shoulder. Reach out at the bottom of the deck. So your person walked away or is walking away from someone. There's silence. Someone is feeling shut out or left out of this connection. What is going on? It's almost like you both need to walk away from someone. Like you're both in the same boat is what I'm seeing so far. Tell me if this is resonating, please. I know this is for someone, but I feel like this is getting very specific. And the cards are going together, so this is the message. Tell me more about Sagittarius and what there's... Actually, I'm using a different deck. Tell me more for Sagittarius, please. November 2020, in regards to love. Tell me more about this connection. What is Sagittarius thinking or feeling? Page of Cups judgment. Yep, you're having you're definitely going through some sort of personal awakening, some sort of realization, a wake up call. You're having a wake up call over here. Seven of Swords reverse at the bottom and Six of Pentacles reverse. It's like you're realizing that something's not fair, that someone's possibly deceiving you. Maybe you need to actually deceive someone else. Can I get one more for Sagittarius? What can you tell me about Sagittarius spirit? Now Sagittarius, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but you can flip them. They don't, you know, they could be flipped. I'm just gonna say this is you and this is your person to avoid confusion, but tell me more about Sagittarius, please. Oh, I got two. Four of Swords reverse, speaking up, justice reverse. Something unfair, unjust. Ten of Wands at the bottom. I don't know if this is something, a sudden realization you're having about this particular person, or if this is a realization you're having about your life. But regardless, it's affecting this connection. You could be wanting to express yourself, or there's an apology you want or need to express. This could also be you having some sort of realization about how you truly feel, or about a situation, maybe seeing it with clear eyes. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Ace of Swords, Reverse. This person could have cut off communication, Knight of Cups. Wow, they could be coming in with some sort of an offer here for you. 
High Priestess. Again, I feel like you're hiding from each other. Can I get one more? There's something this person has inside or something that they're keeping hidden. Hierophant Reverse. And I feel like this isn't right for some reason. Um, whatever they're keeping hidden. I feel like it has to do with either how they truly feel or they're hiding, like I said, they're hiding the fact that they want to apologize and fix this. It's like they don't want to admit maybe that they're wrong. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Using my Secret Moon Oracle deck, I've been working on this physical deck. It'll be available sometime in November in my Etsy shop. I'm still kind of perfecting it, adding cards and stuff, so. But for now, I'm just using this sample. Tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius, please. I have a lot on my plate. I'm heartbroken. That's that Ace of Cups reverse. You matter to me. Please forgive me at the bottom of the deck. So there's something that this person probably, maybe having a lot on, uh, on their plate is affecting this connection. And if it's a, a commitment they have to break, or a commitment they're they're in that could definitely be an, uh, a situation here but i feel like there's something this person is not saying or they've deceived you about and i feel like for some reason you're having some sort of realization about whatever is going on in this connection maybe you're having some sort of realization about the future of this connection so let's see what do you need to know what's the 411 here i feel like there's missing pieces and of course I could go on and on clarifying here, and I'm sure that it would be like opening a can of worms, but I don't want this to be an hour and a half <laughs> long video. Maybe in the extended, we can go a little bit deeper. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? Tower and the Five of Cups, are you kidding me? What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, regarding this connection? What is the 411? What do we need to know? Any hidden factors, blocks? Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know about this connection? Five of Swords Reverse, Five of Cups. What else does Sagittarius need to know about this connection? What, is, what do we need to know? Three of Cups. Some sort of disappointment, regret, mistake happening here. This could be your person. Three of Cups, a reunion of some sort. And the Five of Swords Reverse, again, I'm getting that sense of someone wanting to fix things. Someone wanting to wave the white flag, no longer be fighting, no, you know, excuse me, have some sort of reconciliation here. Why is the Five of Swords Reverse? But that tells me that something has happened in this connection between you and this other person. The higher font again. Tell me more about the Five of Swords reverse. The Fool. It's like they want a new beginning. Um, they want to take a risk. What is this? <laughs> Why is the Three of Swords reverse here? Why is the Queen of Coin reverse here, Sagittarius? Why are you guys always in third party situations? I feel like I need therapy or something. <sighs> oh, the Three of Cups channel lives on. Okay. This is some sort of interference. I feel like there was an interference that got in the way of your connection. And I'm not gonna say it's another relationship, even though the higher friend is here. I'm not going to say it's a marriage, but it's a very high possibility that there is some sort of a marriage in between your connection. Um, I'm also picking up for some of you that if, if this is not marriage, this is societal pressure, societal expectations, even familial expectations. So like, uh, like family traditions or, or some sort of expectation for a certain person's life. 
um, that they fall pressure. Like it's like they feel the pressure and they fall under the pressure. If that makes sense. I'm sorry, my words. I'm just like, I'm getting a lot of messages. Um, whatever interference this is, someone wants to start over. It's like that interference got in the way. I'm sorry about that. I no longer want that to get in the way of our connection, whatever it is. I have a feeling for a lot of you, it's a marriage. Why is the five of cups here? And you know, I, I know I get some comments like, you know, why third party or whatever, like, I don't choose these cards. There's 78 cards in this deck. <laughs> like, what are the chances that I keep getting those same messages? I feel it's because certain people are watching my channel and the spirit knows. Like, those are the people that need to hear the message. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. Six of Cups. This is about the past. This is regret over the past. Four of Wands, reverse. This is a broken home or broken connection. This is a... Uh, imbalance or lack of stability or harmony. I get one more for the Five of Cups. Queen of Coin reverse again. Someone regrets this. Whatever happened in the, it's like whatever choice got in the way was not the right one. With the Four of Wands reverse, Queen of Coin reverse. Also, they can't really give with the Queen of Coin reverse. Is somebody that is not able to give. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is this here? Two of Coin Reverse. Jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eight of Coin. Two of Coin Reverse. This could be someone that has a lot on their plate. Juggling too much. I'm also seeing with the Three of Cups too many people here. Why do we have three people here? Not necessary. <laughs> Okay, tell me about the Three of Cups. I feel like this could also be that someone really does want to get together, meet up, have some sort of, um, yeah, they, they might be wanting to like ask you out or something like that, talk, but, it, but this is going to take effort with the Eight of Coin in some way. They could be working on this, but with the Page of Coin reverse, you know, it's almost like they can't even give you a little bit. Like they can't even give you a little bit of commitment. You know, I have cold shoulder on their side. It's like, even though they're heartbroken and want forgiveness, there's some sort of silence or blockage here. If this is resonating. This is not going to resonate with everyone. I'm going to tell you right now. And if it doesn't resonate, it's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. But if it is resonating, please let me know because I feel like this is so specific. And this could even be something related to work. Um, you know, but this is someone that wants a new beginning. And I feel like I wonder if they told you this. Like, have they communicated? What's this Eight of Coin about? What are they working on? What's this Eight of Coin about? Knight of Wands reverse. Well, that's not good. Whatever they're working on, they're not going to finish. High Priestess. Okay, so this is in secret. They're working in secret. There's something that they're keeping to themselves. They're not telling you something about... Either they're not talking at all, like there's no communication, or what they are telling you is not really what they're doing. It's almost like whatever they're working on, they don't want anybody to know, or they have too much on their plate and it's cutting communication between you. But with that Knight of Wands reverse, I mean, I really hope they're not wanting to see you in secret, to still connect with you while still being attached to something else. Because that's, that would make sense of why this page of coin reverse is here. This is not a real offer. Yeah. My gosh. <laughs> I normally never do that. I normally never just open the deck and pick a card. But I felt like doing it for this page of coin. And look what came out. Seven of swords. There's something off with this. I don't like this energy. So let's see. 
Might I remind you, there are 78 cards in the tarot, and double that message if you're doing reversals. And these are the cards that I get. Okay, Sagittarius, don't shoot the messenger, but whatever's going on, what a mess. So let's get into the potential outcome here. Actually, let me use a whole different deck. So I'm going to pick a few cards for the potential outcome in the near future here in this video. And then I'll take this to the extended, completely optional, but if you'd like to join me in the extended, we're going to clarify the potential outcome. We're going to look at your person's true intentions and next potential actions and get some advice from spirit. Potential outcome, please. What is the potential outcome in the near future for Sagittarius and this other person? November 2020, potential outcome, please, spirit in the near future. Two of Wands, reverse. I don't like that energy. Sometimes that card for me, sometimes the Two of Wands reverse, it can, it can symbolize several things. It could be that someone has decided on a path it could be that someone has refused or is undecided on which path to choose. It could also mean that someone wants both paths, which to me as a reader, when I do love re reading, that can be infidelity. Someone that's stepping out of something. They want both. They can't choose one, you know? We'll see in the extended what that is all about. What else can you tell me about the potential outcome for the near future? Empress, yes. Growth, expansion, manifestation, and nine of cups. Okay, so I see this turning around for at least one of you here. You know, I feel like you're both stressed, but I feel like there's something here that I feel is turning around. Someone could be getting their wish granted here with the nine of cups. There could be something to celebrate, emotional fulfillment. Someone's very happy, content, satisfied. Some sort of satisfaction. I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. This could be related to um, commitment, finances, stability. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It 